Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're doing deductions on a graph that has a parabola and a hyperbola. They tell us that the parabola equation is f of x is equal to minus x squared plus 9. Now the next thing is find the equation of the hyperbola. We know that the equation of a hyperbola is equal to a over x plus q. Our q is always our asymptote which means we have a over x plus 2. Next, we substitute a point. Now, they're not going to give you the points. In a, in a deduction, you must look for it. And there's the point sitting there. So what is our coordinate? Our coordinate is minus 1 and 0. So at g of x, I'm putting 0, a over minus 1 plus 2. And then I'm solving for a. So I have minus 2 is equal to a over minus 1, which means a is equal to 2. Now if I'm going to rewrite the equation, I'm going to have g of x is equal to 2 over x plus 2. Let's go to the next question. Calculate the length of gh. Now g is the parabola and h is the hyperbola. Now we know they are telling us that x is equal to 2. You can see it on the graph that x is equal to 2. We have that the x is equal to 2. How do we calculate the y? To calculate the y's we simply substitute 2 in the graph that it is touching. Now at g it is touching the parabola. So I'm going to have minus open brackets 2 all squared plus 9 which gives us 5. So I know that this coordinate is 5. Then for h, I know it's on the hyperbola graph. You can see the graph it's touching is hyperbola. So we have 2 over 2 plus 2 which is equal to 3. So the coordinate here is 3. Now how do I get the length of gh? Top minus bottom. So 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2 units. Let's do the next one. EF. EF is exactly the same concept. We've got that x is minus 2. So at both cases x is minus 2. How do I get y? We're going to substitute minus 2 into the equation. If I substitute minus 2 into my hyperbola, then I would get that x is equal to 1. It's simple substitution. Like if you look here, I would have put minus 2 into minus 2 and you'd end up with the same answer. But if we were using g of x, we'd have g of x is equal to 2 over minus 2 plus 2, which equals to 1. And that's how I get this one. If I'm talking of this parabola, then I'm working with my parabola equation. So I'm going minus and then I'm putting my minus 2 squared plus 9 which equals to 5. So it is simple substitution. And the general rule is if I'm given x to get y, I substitute into the original. If I'm given y to get x, I'm substituting into the original. Now let's answer the question. What is the length of EF? So we're going to say top minus bottom. So we'll have 5 minus 1 which is equal to 4. So it is 4 units. Calculate the length of ij. Now look this is a slightly different question. ij. If y is equal to minus 2. Now i we know that the y is minus 2. Now this is a bit more of algebra so we're going to write it down. If I'm working at this specific point, then I can see it's the hyperbola graph. So what do I have? That hyperbola at i is g of x is equal to 2 over x plus 2. Now we've got that y is minus 2. So where am I putting the minus 2? I'm putting it here. Is equal to 2 over x plus 2. 
Solving for x, I'm taking my 2 over, I end up with minus 2 minus 2, and I have 2 over x. So I have minus 4 is equal to 2 over x. So I have minus 4x is equal to 2, x is equal to minus a half. This is normal solving for x. If you are not okay with this, you need to go to your algebraic expression and you need to work on it. Because you can't do any graphs, you can't do any deductions if you are not okay with your solving for x. Now we've got that this coordinate, the x is minus a half and the y is minus 2. Now how do we do j? Now j is on the parabola. So again, we know the equation is y is equal to minus x squared plus 9. But we know that y is minus 2. So we have minus x squared plus 9. If you take it over, we've got minus 11 is equal to minus x squared x squared is equal to 11, so x is equal to the root of 11. We're going to take a positive version because we're on the positive side of the x. So we have root of 11 and minus 2. So what is the length of ij? Right, to get the length of ij, we would say the x of the high minus the x of the low which means I would have had root of 11 minus minus a half. And then you can use your calculator and you would get the answer. So we have the length is equal to 3,8. Now they are saying calculate the length of AD. Now these are easy questions that you can just see by looking at it. AD is x is 3 and then x is minus 1. So it's going to be 3 minus minus 1 which is equal to 4 units. Remember the x of the high minus the x of the low. Then they want the, the length of a, b. So we have it on 3 and th minus 3. So it would be 3 minus minus 3 which will give me 6 units. Remember when we're doing x, we're simply going to say the x of the high minus the x of the low. And the x of the high is on the right hand side, the x of the low is on the left hand side. Thank you for watching.